Take a bubble. You get a massage here. So you know those blind massages? I'm just gonna say what everyone's thinking. They are always shit. I've never had a blind massage that was good. Like the blind guys, uh, 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 and then they've got the like the, the, the pinging on their phone, the voice. The, mate, I've never had a blind massage that's been good. So yeah. And they're like, oh, I'm blind. I'll just rub you a bit, you know? The blind guys and the hookers, mate, they both get terrible massages, you know what I'm saying? Oh, these girls, mate, they, they kind of rub you like this. And you're like, oh, this girl, this girl's not a legit massage. It's hard to know sometimes with the legit ones. Even the ones with the uniform, sometimes they're not legit. But mostly, you go with the ones with the uniforms, you've got a much better chance, you know what I mean? This is GNC. Hey, hello. This is GNC. Yeah, so, um, yeah, because I, I want advice from some large girl eating chips, mate. She's eating, she's <laughs> sitting there eating chips in the health food shop. <laughs> I love the Philippines, mate. I love the Philippines, mate. <laughs> She's sitting there eating chips, mate. Eating bloody potato chips. In the health food shop, trying to sell me pre-workout. They run out of pre-workout. Oh, I don't think she bought it, though. I don't think she took it all home. I think she's just definitely not guilty. Like, almond milk. Who do you know who drinks almond milk who's not a CU in the Northern Territory? A CU in the Northern Territory, NT. Who do you know, mate, who drinks almond milk? One person. One person drinks almond milk that's not a complete see you in the Northern Territory. I can't think of one person. Like, everyone I know who drinks almond milk is a douchebag. So, you will get it gluten free, shut up. Stop. What did you just say? What did you say? People who think that the bucket hearts are for dorks are dorks. People think that the bucket hat are for dorks are dorks. Okay, translate it. Translate it. Cheers, elf. I saw an American guy, he was with a girl, she's probably 20 years older. Love, you reckon she's 20 years older? Yeah. Not socially accepted. Every white people go after the young Filipino. Well, just the... Some people have fetish with old women. Got a granny fetish, brah. Granny fetish. That's the first time I've seen a white guy with like a 20 year old. The girl was 20 years older. And they're holding hands. I was like, Bleh. she was old as bro. She looked like a granny. I was like, that's disgusting. Huh? People in the comments would be like, well, you being 19 years older than Jessica's disgusting too. I know, I know, Canada. It's so bad, Canada. Hey, hiya. Hey. Oh, home. How you doing? <laughs> hey. So he's got a tattoo, he's working in the homewares shop. I'm getting mixed messages, mate. I'm getting mixed messages, you know what I mean? You're yeah, right, right? I send in Peter Bills. I think those people watching the uh, film right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with ya. I'm with ya. Yeah. Bye. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. It's gonna come up on, mate. Hi. Can you hear everyone cheering and booing? No, don't walk out that way, walk out this way. Because that's not the way to put something back. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Yeah, okay. Hello. My Hello, my name's Ian. My don't name be rude. Candy floss. Candy floss girls. 
Ay. What's going on, Jessica? Do I have a friendly face or I don't have a friendly face? We well, have a when friendly face young, when you smile. When I was younger, like people yeah. think that I'm such a snob. Like people don't approach me because they think, oh, you're you're like they, they call it matata. Yeah. Matata. Yeah. Like people don't approach me because they think, oh, you're they, they call it matarai. Like my face is not very friendly. They said. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Hey. Hey brother. I saw a big guy and I was like, bro, where are you getting your tops? And he's like, uh, um, he's like, uh, the America. I'm like, uh, I go, what size are you? I'm 9XL. He goes, I'm, I'm 5XL. I was like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm 9. So, yeah, I've got to lose some weight, bro. B9XL, it's a, it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough, bro. Jolly B. They call the mullet the wolf cup in uh, in Korea. 5XL. Is it only 5? Oh, I was like, come on. No, Australia. US though, US. Size. Yeah. US size is yeah. a lot bigger. That's 19 XL in Australia. But... It's not if you change shirt, that's not going to fit. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. For sure. I think I want a wind walker backpack. I can be a wind walker. It's kind of zesty, isn't it? Oh, I've got a windwalker backpack. How are you a bloody windwalker, mate? Like, I don't know, Filipino Mark in the barman, what's going on? Whoa, purple shirt, bro, purple shirt. Purple shirt alert, bro, purple shirt alert. Purple shirt alert. Purple shirt alert. I don't know, people wear purple and pink shirts. Do you not have mates? Like, if I, I, I went out with a purple or a pink shirt, my mates would rib the shit out of me. Maybe it's just Australia, mate. Maybe it's just Australia, but... I don't know, mate. People that wear purple and pink shirts, I just ask, do you not have mates? Do you not have mates? That's friends. I'm going to translate everything because we found out what percentage of people watch our video with subtitles, love? 40%. 40% of people watch our video with subtitles. Bearing in mind that most of our viewers are from America, so, and most of our viewers are saying, oh, we don't understand you. We don't understand what you're saying. We can't understand the language, right? So, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Americans can't understand Australian, you know, what's going on? Mate, this Korean dipping sauce is absolutely gangster, mate. I just, I was into Korean food and all the zesty stuff, but mate, Jessica's got me right into all the zest, mate. I'm full zest, bruh, full zest. So this is 32 pesos, and in the province it's 28, so it's a bit more expensive here. It seems like it's a bit more expensive here. So, yeah. Filipino spaghetti, right? So in my country, they sell it, it's worth a fortune. We pay heaps for my country back for spaghetti. Filipinos love it as well, right? For 120 pesos. Honey here is like nearly 500 pesos. So, what is it? For my butt. What's making your butt bigger? You don't have a butt, love. You don't have a butt, love. You don't have a butt, it's just flat like mine. See, sometimes I get some anxiety. I'm like, life can't be this good, right? Like, this easy, you know, like, you, you go to college, get some qualifications, start a company. Like, it can't be that easy, mate. Like, you know, that's why I'm always training, fighting and stuff, something, and something bad has to happen. Life can't be this easy, right? Like, I'm always thinking, man, life can't be this easy. It has to be something bad gonna happen. And I just, I get shocked at how easy life is, right? Like, once you figure it out, once you figure out, like, so I, I, I grew up poor, I grew up like, housing commission, like council estate, so, I met some rich people and they, I read all these books. I read like, oh, I listened to two audio books a week for five years, right? By the end of that five years, I changed professions. I was in a commission sales environment. And then I knew I needed to go into money, into finance to make real money. So, um, yeah, so, but I sometimes I'm just grateful I took those moves, but the, the moves you take reading the books, taking the risks, it's such an upside, mate. It's crazy how much of an upside it is, you know? Hey, how are you? I'll buy it for you, love. I'll buy it for you. Yes, yeah, so it's coconut water, coconut meat. It's pretty good, bro. It's pretty good. Coconut water. Uh, 
Yeah, that's good. That's really good. No, that's really good. David needs to cut calories, mate, like me. Me and David need to go on the same diet. David Salon. Can you get a model, David? I have to look at you. Check it out. Once again, going to the shop. Hello. Pre workout, yeah. 2000. That's good. That's the one we have in Australia, I think. Green apple. That's good. So you have this, um, you didn't have this, um, peels in the office. It was for losing weight. I don't know, I can't remember the Oxy brand. shred. Oxy shred for like 5,000, yeah. They said take two times a day. So I took one, right? Because I'm like curious, like, oh, because sometimes I feel like insecure about my body and I was like, I want to lose weight. And I took it because I ate, I think that's after the, we had the, um, we ate a lot that day and I took it and after a few minutes I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack like my heart is pounding and my hands are shaking yeah. it's, and then I read that the caffeine was so high yeah it's crazy and I was like mate what did I it's do crazy. I it's never crazy. did it again I, it's crazy I, I don't know it's crazy mate it's crazy total war brother total war yeah. pre-workout so if you wake up you take pre-workout You'd be bloody amazed at what you can lift when you take pre-workout. I don't know why, look, I don't know the science, blah, blah, blah. I know there's a lot of caffeine, there's other stuff in there. I don't exactly know how it all works, but man, shit makes you strong, right? It makes you strong. It's crazy how strong it makes you. These pre-workouts, they can send you the other way. So if you take too much caffeine, you'll be really drowsy and lethargic. So you've got to be careful, like, if you've never used pre-workout before, just use half, don't use the whole one. Because it's like you're getting six cups of coffee in one hit, mate. You either go boom or you go, or you, or you crash. So, it, when in doubt, just take half. But look, the first time you take it, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not a good experience, it's not a good experience. But it is actually a good experience. And you'll lose weight because you're just not hungry. The caffeine just suppresses hunger as well. So if you do it in the morning, take pre-workout in the morning, it's like a cheat code to lose weight. You go lift, have a meal, you're just not hungry. You're like, I'm not hungry all day. I, just, uh, I had this massive dose of caffeine and all this blah, 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 you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm buying Total Warp. I used that before, it's good, it's good. I've used it before. See a nutrient deposit. So, I have to say, right, her customer service was shit, right? Like, she was like on the computer, like it was like, oh, I'm hassling, am I hassling you, mate? I mean, there's two customers in the store. Am I hassling you? You have to get off, you have to get off whatever you're surfing. You know, it's crazy, mate. Like the, the customer service. Why is the customer service so bad in the Philippines, mate? Because people just don't really give us stuff, right? what happens. Photos. <laughs> I just, uh, customer service is so bad, mate. The customer service is so bad. You know, like, the customer service in the Philippines is so bad. I just, we go in there, right? She's on the computer. She doesn't say hello, she just ignores us. She has to ask some questions, she's like, minimal answers. Sorry. Yeah. Mate, if she worked for me, she'd be gone, mate. She'd be gone. I'm telling you. She's a bit shy, she's got, she's cleft. Not cleft. Yeah, well, mate, if you're shy, go do something where you don't have to talk to people. You know what I mean? Go do something where you don't have to talk to people. You know what I mean? Nice. Ah, oh, dude, she's nice. Listen, she was nice. She'd be trying to sell us something, right? Like, she works for someone. She doesn't own that shop. She probably just doesn't own commission. That's why when sales people don't own commission, they just don't give a shit, mate, you know? Power cleans or something like that, or bench press, so I'd take the stim. This is stim, right? It means stim it's stimulants. But I wouldn't take it every day, mate. You gotta have some days off with stimulants. It's like, and there's a bit of a crash when you don't take it. You're like jonesing for caffeine, right? Like, give me a Coca-Cola, give me caffeine. Wow. So, the reason I can lose weight is because when I take that, I don't, I don't need Coca-Cola. I'm like, I don't need Coke. But if I don't take it, I'm dying for caffeine. I don't drink coffee, so I'm dying for Coca-Cola. Guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.